Now that we've launched, we can gather and analyze the data from the launch. For this launch, we only collected Apogee information. However, more advanced rocket systems are capable of recording more values, such as changes in altitude, velocity, ambient temperature, and ambient pressure. Remember Model 4, Rocket Mechanics, where we plotted the expected trajectory of the rocket. We were able to find what the Apogee of the rocket should be according to the models we made in that module. We determined altitude using models with and without drag. Now that we've calculated the apogees for both models, we can compare those predictions to our real-world apogee. This graph shows a plot of our trajectory models, while this dotted line shows what the real apogee of our launch was. It appears to have been around 85 meters. You can see that our rocket went lower in real life than we expected it to. Take some time to think about why this might be. It makes sense if you look at our no-drag model. We assumed no drag force or air resistance. Then we showed a scenario where we included drag, and this is closer to our real-life apogee. So why is the model with drag still off? Well, there are a number of reasons. First off, the rocket didn't go completely vertical, so the component of the rocket's velocity was in the horizontal direction, and that can make a significant difference. Our equations of motion show us that a lower vertical velocity will result in a lower apogee. Another reason is that our model and simplifications are still a little inaccurate. We simplified our forces and acceleration to be constant with time. This isn't true, and a ton of factors may change during flight. Accounting for all these changes would make our estimates much more accurate, but would also require much more advanced equations of motion. That being said, the models we can have now can still be considered accurate and are good for giving ballpark estimates. The assumptions in the applications of models is something to consider when analyzing any data. When we use models, we often have to consider this trade-off of accuracy versus complexity. 